the Tag Team Rumble is next week. Guys, speaking of tag teams, they're recently reunited. Scooby-Doo and Shaggy are doing an interest together for the first time in years. Us wrestling fans, I will give you guys an apology. Because I know I sold out. I was a Paul Heyman guy. But as of today, I am a free scooby -Doo! But the moment that I found out that Paul Heyman was abusing my friend Scoob, I knew I had to make sure that he pays. So Evan Anderholm and Jarrell Nelson are the Tag Team Champions. So, if the winner of the Tag Team Royal Rumble gets to win the Tag Team Championships, then I'm gonna make sure- Ladies and gentlemen! Scooby-Doo, you are technically still under contract with me, and I could end your career right now, but honestly, I don't really think that you are worth it. I mean, Scooby-Doo, you are always a loser. I tried my best to make you a star, but it's... I just, I can't fix stupid. That's the only problem. So you are lucky I am not going to take legal action against you, scooby but when I said that I can't fix stupid, I mean Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. Do you realize that coming after the Tag Team Championships is very stupid because my bodyguards, Evan and Jarrell, will unfortunately be defending the tag titles in the Tag Team Royal Rumble. But you know that I can work my magic to get them a late entry. And at the same time, I am going to work my magic to make sure that Scooby-Doo and Shaggy enter in the Tag Team Royal Rumble at number one. As the Tag Team Royal Rumble is confirmed, next episode, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy will be entering at number one. The tag title's on the line, but that number one entrant is very hard. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest, Nia Jax. So Nia Jax, you are one of three women competing in the Women's Championship match Triple threat at Crown Jewel. So, how do you feel that Shayna Baszler is one of Paul Heyman's bodyguards and she is very dangerous, as well as Sandy Cheeks being a former women's champion? How do you feel about your chances of, of winning the women's title? Well, Shayna Baszler may be tough, but she's never met the irresistible force. I promise you, she's not going to be putting me to sleep. And for Sandy Cheeks, is she even relevant? Isn't she in a cast? Isn't her arm broken? Well, 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 we wish whoever wins the women's triple threat match luck because the winner is going to have to face Jane Cargill. And I promise you that is going to be must see television. The Foley Contest is set for one fall. Introducing first. The Viper, Randy Orchard, and his opponent, Freddy Fazbear. The Viper, Randy Orton versus Freddy Fazbear. I cannot believe we have two guys this caliber on an episode of s Map Wrestling. I know. Whoa! Well, Randy Orton now is an in-ring veteran, but he is not used to somebody like Freddy Fazbear. And that's the thing about Freddy Fazbear. He has such a unique wrestling style that even the veterans like Randy Orton have no idea how to prepare for this man. What? Well, I think Randy Orton's doing a pretty good job preparing for Fazbear. He just knocked him out. Now the Viper was looking for a match against Syndrome, but Syndrome is suspended. Oh no, Freddy Fazbear just knocked out Randy Orton off the ropes. Oh no! Randy Cullen with the suplex from the Viper! Now, Freddy Fazbear, this is his first singles match in years in SMF Wrestling. That's right, Freddy and his gang were successful in a tag team match with... Oh! Freddy Fazbear's leg is holding Norton back in the ring! And it's actually his arm! His arm was holding down Randy Orton's leg! Oh! There's that unique style that you can't compare for! Well, Freddy Fazbear came back to SMF Wrestling with his gang. He had one goal in mind. That was his... That was to redeem his fallen wrestling career! Oh, clothesline to the Viper! Freddy Fazbear actually has him down. Fazbear now the captain of Team Finance and Freddy's oh big boo. Well, we know the Viper Randy Yorton has not been in a good move since losing the YouTube Championship. It was actually Syndrome that costed Randy Yorton the YouTube title match. And now he's gonna pin him. One, 
two. Freddy Fazbear kicks out a two. Freddy Fazbear rolling to the outside to avoid any more punishment from the Viper. Minute Freddy once again trying to stop Randy Orton. Ow! Randy now is now destroying the leg of Fazbear. Oh, and that slight distraction is costing Randy. It's all illegal just because Freddy Fazbear has a really weird body type. Ah, short tackle. Well, now the Viper is getting his conscious back right now. Two short tackles. Randy Orton is going to let Freddy Fazbear get back up and ah, snap suplex. No, Randy Orton, the veteran right now, the former YouTube champion, former Blue Belt World Champion, has Freddy Fazbear in position. Randy wants that draping DDT. What the? Ah! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This match is all about disqualification. Syndrome. Oh, Syndrome is going after Randy Orton with his status two chair. It was Syndrome who ruined a great match between Randy Orton and Freddy Fazbear. Ow! Orton back up! And these two fellas are exploding in the middle of the ring. We gotta get some help out here. I don't know about you guys, but I smell a new rivalry between Syndrome and Randy Orton. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest, the YouTube champion, AJ Styles. So AJ Styles, Minecraft Steve earned the right to challenge you for the YouTube championship. Do you have any words for this man? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. You see, Minecraft Steve, he was a young up-and-comer. He had a lot of potential. But the problem with this rookie is that he has a big mouth. And that big mouth of his is about to write him a check that he can't cash. No matter what era I'm in, I'm always phenomenal. And Minecraft Steve wants to go along and say that I'm washed. Yeah, Steve, how about I show you firsthand how washed I am when I kick the crap out of you and retain my YouTube championship. I'm going to teach you a lesson that you're going to have to remember your entire career, Minecraft Steve. Yo, AJ Styles, I'm going to teach you a lesson. You're gonna need better teammates because these jobbers ain't gonna be there to save you when this rookie takes that championship from you. Thanks for keeping the title warm for me. <laughs> There's no time for our historic main event. Wait a second. No, no, no. It is not time for the main event. In fact, I should be in the main event, but I'm not. In fact, I'm not even booked tonight. How embarrassing. How embarrassing that Minecraft Steve is getting a YouTube title match and me, the former champion, is sitting and catering. And how embarrassing is it that Nia Jax and Sandy Cheeks are challenging Shayna Baszler, but the queen of the ring is doing nothing? Who is running this show? Oh, I know who. Kurt Angle and Stephanie McMahon. Oh, you're going to cheer them. You're, you're going to cheer the worst general managers of all time. They are biased against Greg Heffley and Holly Hills. They hate us. And because they have all the power in this company, they are punishing us and leaving us out when we rightfully should be at Crown Jewel. Both of us should be getting championship matches, but we're both not even booked. And it's because they hate us. How is that fair? You tell me how's that fair when Kurt Angle cost me my championship when Stephanie McMahon interferes in Holly Hills' matches. We had enough. Oh, well, here comes security by Stephanie and Kurt, our GMs, for Greg Hefley and Holly Hills hijacking the show. Oh, what are you going to do? You're going to arrest us, Kurt and Stephanie? Listen, tell this guy to stop and you hear me out. You two know you're in the wrong. Listen, Kurt Angle is a Hall of Famer. He's one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, as much as it pains me to say. And Stephanie McMahon... I know that you're trained to wrestle. I, I've i seen you wrestle in the past. There's two of you and there's two of us. At Crown Jewel, we want a mixed tag team match against you. Come on, Kurt and Stephanie. We know you hate us. Don't you want to punch us legally? Come on. What is this guy talking about? Yeah. Greg, Henny, you know me and Stephanie are retired. Yeah, yeah, typical response. We know you're healthy. We know you can wrestle one more match. I just think you're gonna be embarrassed when me and Holly beat you because you hate us. And it would be your worst nightmare to lose to the two wrestlers that you hate. What, what are you talking about? Stop it, security, get him. You can't suppress us, Kurt. You can't do this, Stephanie. Listen, listen, give us the match. We'll even put our careers on the line. <sighs> careers on the line. Stephanie, they're gonna put their careers in the, on the line. Should, should we do it? Greg, Holly, both of you know that, that, that this is incredibly unprofessional of you to hijack our show. And Kurt's right. If we did step out of retirement, we know that we could beat you. But here's the thing. If we wanted you gone, we could just fire you at any moment. It's really not worth our time and our health to wrestle you in a match. However, both of you have been very disrespectful to the both of us and really, we don't like that. So how about this? You do not have to put your careers on the line. 
if we beat you at Crown Jewel, you have to become our personal assistants. You have to do whatever we say for the remainder of your career. Yeah, that's right. If we want you to scrub our toilet, you gotta scrub our toilet. Oh, there's no way we're doing that. She's a queen. I'm a star. But I know we can win. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Stephanie Kurt, you put your careers on the line. You put your general manager job on the line, and it's a deal. We'll scrub the toilets if we lose. We're not gonna lose. It's a deal. Come on. You know what? We accept. It's official. Can you a big tag match? It's too dangerous. There's no way that just happened. And that guy's Greg Huffley and Holly Hills just convinced the general managers to wrestle at the next premium live event. That is, we have not seen Kurt Angle wrestling in years and Stephanie McMahon. I don't know if she's ever wrestled here and that's no wrestling. She's wrestled in the past, but not here. The huge stakes are on the line. Is this thing on? I'm going to send this message right to Paul Heyman because Paul Heyman has done too many crimes and you messed with the wrong father. You convinced my daughter to sign a contract. You tricked her. You abused my daughter. And for that, Paul Heyman, I don't care what I have to do. I am going to find you. And nobody mess with my daughter. It was my fault, honestly. It was my fault for getting her involved in the wrestling business. And I take full responsibility for that. But and I'll also take full responsibility for whatever I do to you, Paul Heyman. Hey, Dad, can we talk? Vanessa, what are you doing here? I told you to stay at home. Wrestling's too dangerous for you. Yes, I know you told me to stay at home, but Dad, listen, I know that you're mad at Paul Heyman for abusing me, and personally, I'm mad at Paul Heyman, too, for the stuff that he put me through. And Dad, listen, growing up, I always looked up to you as a wrestler, and I kind of dreamt of doing it, and since you've been gone, I became a woman's champion. I've, I, like, I've, I've, in, I've improved in the ring and I, I want to be by your side. I want to stay here, and I want to help you fight Paul Heyman. Please, Dad, this is my dream. I please stay? Well, Vanessa, it's it's too dangerous for you, but, uh, yeah, I, I forgot. Uh, I guess I slipped my mind. You were a woman's champion. Even if it was because of Paul Heyman, you, you still are a good wrestler now. In fact, you won a world title before I did. You know what, Vanessa? Of course I'll let you stay and fight Paul Heyman. It'd be an honor as a father to fight alongside my daughter and destroy evil. I'm so proud of you as a daughter, a woman, but also a wrestler. And together, Paul Heyman, you're going down. Okay, now how do I send this to Paul Heyman? Well, we apologize for that brief interruption. Uh, we're back and now it's time for our huge main event. Making his way to the ring, he is the final boss, The Rock! Finally, The Rock has come back for the championship at SummerSlam. The Rock earned his match. And now, The Rock is cashing it in for the main event of the next PLE Crown Jewel. Phineas, whether you're ready or not, you have to respect that The Rock is coming for the championship. Well, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I didn't see this day coming. Dwayne, I knew, I knew you'd come back eventually. And you'd try to challenge me for my championship. Well, I guess it's finally time. It's finally time for me to officially become the greatest of all time by beating the great one, The Rock. I'll see you at Crown Jewel, Hollywood boy. Nah, 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 nah! You wait! The Rock did not just come to announce that he is going to challenge you, 
The Rock came to make you an offer because The Rock is not new to this business. At WrestleMania this year, The Rock was about to become the world champion. But The Rock was screwed out of the match by outside interference. Now The Rock knows. The Rock knows all about you and your team, Phineas. The Rock knows you have your backup. And The Rock wants to make sure that this match is going to be fair. So, Phineas, The Rock is challenging you to a Bloodline Rules match. And The Rock's gonna honor his great Bloodline. Whoa, 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 hold on just a minute. Where the hell did that come from? Bloodline Rules? What does that even mean? Hey, hey, <laughs> I don't trust you, Rock. You're calling yourself the final boss now. You're you're very clearly not the people's champion no more. For, not just because you don't have a championship belt, but I, I've sensed something in you, Dwayne. I've sensed that you finally stop walking around pretending like you're everybody's friend. Deep down inside, Rock, we know you're just a politician. You're just a billionaire who doesn't care about anybody. You are, the only thing you care about is making money. And you're right, Dwayne. There is a lot of interference and a lot of bullcrap that goes on in SMF Wrestling. And there's a lot of matches that end unfairly. But you really think that I'm going to do it. I spent my entire year fighting against the interferences. You really, you really don't trust me that I'm going to give you a fair match. Rock, do you even pay attention to the product? You and I are going to have a wrestling match. Two of the best to ever do it. No, I don't accept your stupid bloodline rules. I don't know what that means, and we're not going to find out. Period. Now you know the Rock thought you might say that. But listen, man to man, I want to tell you that you and I are more similar than you think. Because the Rock used to be the people's champion. But then, the people decided to become a bunch of brain-rotted crackheads. The Rock tried to entertain the millions, but the millions decided that they don't want The Rock no more. They turned their back on the Great One. These people booed The Rock when The Rock tried to give them the biggest main event of all time. They turned their backs on The Rock. These weed smokers don't deserve a damn thing from The Great One. You and The Rock have a lot in common because you got on this microphone and you spit the truth. You told these marks exactly what's wrong with them. You had the entire internet losing their mind because you exposed them and you showed the world that they are just a bunch of neckbeard losers. They're a bunch of crybabies. You tried to give them the greatest wrestling show that you could, and they turned on you just like they turned their back on me. And Phineas, this match is not about the people. This match is about two people, and that is you and me. Because The Rock knows that I am the greatest of all time. And The Rock knows that you could be the greatest of all time. Because once The Rock hangs the boots up and retires for good, somebody has to fill The Rock's shoes. And that man is standing right in front of me. Phineas, you accept my challenge. And we could make the biggest main event championship match of all time, we could save SMF Wrestling together. What do you say, Phineas? You and The Rock, Bloodline Rules, Main Event, PLE. Well, Dwayne, just like I said earlier, I know you're just a politician in disguise. That's why people want you to run for president. Because you do a great job convincing the people that you're better than you actually are. You're right. The people don't deserve Phineas versus The Rock for the way that they've treated us. They don't even deserve to have SMF Wrestling, but it's still around. And it should be an honor, coming from The Rock, that you're saying that when you retire, then I'm going to be the one to carry on the torch. That's a great honor. 
And you know what, Rock? I've got nothing to prove to them for damn sure, and I've got nothing to prove to you. So I will accept your match on one condition. Because <laughs> you talk about that day when you're going to officially retire. Hang up the boots. Well, that day is going to come at Crown Jewel. When I beat The Rock, he has to retire from SMF Wrestling for good. And then, the, and then the torch will officially be passed. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Bloodline rules, sure. Your career is on the line, Dwayne. Do you accept? That is, the Rock and Phineas just shook hands. The biggest main event of all time is confirmed a world championship bloodline rules whatever that means Phineas is going to defend the title but if Phineas can beat The Rock The Rock has to retire for good the tag rumble is next week but stay tuned for The Rock versus Phineas we'll see you fellas next time